Welcome to Kawartha Cookin with Anthony Lennon. It's all local. It's all community. It's all Kawartha Cookin. Hi, welcome back to Kawartha Cookin with me, Anthony Lennon. We're here again at the Mountain Community Kitchen. And this week, I am making a wild rice and mushroom dish. Everything was sourced locally, in a rural farmer's market and surrounding area. This past Saturday, I had me at the market looking for what to cook for this week's menu. And I was walking around, I saw black duck wild rice with James Wheaton. So, went right over there, big smile he greeted me with, we started talking about wild rice. If you don't know, wild rice actually isn't a rice. It is the grain off of uh, grass. And it is in uh, Buckhorn Lake, Pigeon Lake. I didn't even know this, so this is why I'm excited. I always thought it was something I had to get from Minnesota. So wild rice, unlike regular rice, uh, takes a little bit more water. So this is a three to one ratio. Three cups of water for one cup of wild rice. Water's hit the boil, and now I'm going to reduce to the simmer. I will be checking from time to time, and just to make sure we're not burning and uh, losing too much water. So I'm covering it, set my timer for 40 minutes, I'll be back. Rice is on the stove at a simmer as you just saw, and I'm going to kind of boost that rice up a bit with a couple other ingredients. Uh, we have some great little onions, from Hard Rock Acres. Got some nice cremini mushrooms. I'm gonna slowly saute these onions, the mushrooms all together. I chose thyme as the seasoning for this. It's floral, it's still earthy, so it's gonna go along with the earthiness of the mushrooms. I'm just gonna put them in whole. Uh, I'll pick them out when it's done. And we're gonna walk over to the stove. So I've got about, you know, I'm going to go for it. Two tablespoons, quart of dairy butter. I'm just going to let that melt for a sec. Look at that. That's going to be so good in that rice. Again, about a teaspoon of salt. I am using kosher salt for everything. Uh, I always have an argument with my friend when I say this salt isn't as salty and he always says, hey, salt is salt is salt. And I get that, but this isn't as salty. I can control a little better. It's bigger flakes. You gotta, just kosher salt is what you want to use for cooking. Just another teaspoon, a little less of a teaspoon of uh, pepper. And I'm gonna add my garlic on the top. Half a tablespoon. <laughs> And I'm actually just going to let that sit there for a bit. And then I'm just going to set those on top. Come back in a few minutes. Rice is done. It's absorbed all of its water. The smell in here is incredible. Lance is drooling. I'm drooling. Now it's time to add it into the onion and the mushrooms. I'm gonna get rid of this thyme. It was in there, it did its job. If you get a little stem from your thyme in here, it's not a big deal. If the people at your house are gonna complain about that, I'll come over and eat dinner with you instead. Now this is just gonna turn the rice into something amazing. I'm going to deglaze the pan, which is using a liquid, in this case, wine. That's picking up all those brown bits on the bottom. I'm gonna let that reduce. This is just gonna add more and more flavor. Throw about a tablespoon of butter in there. Butter is gonna give the sauce just a better texture and it's gonna give it that shiny finish. So now I've just got that little bit of sauce that I've got left in the bottom. Just gonna pour that over the rice. 
adding more and more flavor to everything. And here we are, finished dish. Wild rice, mushrooms, onions. Let's see how this is. Mm. So good, again. All those earthy flavors come together. I can't wait till you see what I put with this.